Afternoon, folks. It's February 13th, 2010, otherwise known as the dreaded day before Valentine's Day. Uh, <laughs> if you hooked up with anybody today or in the next uh, few hours, <laughs> you gotta do stuff for Valentine's Day with them. I have to do stuff for Valentine's Day too. Well, I don't have to, but I'm going to anyway, just because it's a good thing. Most people will disagree with me because they're single. Um, I'm watching the Olympics right now. Speaking of the Olympics, anybody? watched those opening ceremonies yesterday. That was some crazy, crazy stuff. The whales, the iceberg thing, the, like the project the projectors, like the cameras or whatever they had they had, like the dueling shadow, the guy with the violin. That was ridiculous. That and like the five million dancers that they had. One thing I would like to talk about is the uh <laughs> the cauldron that failed epically in the thing. I'm sure they fixed it by now but that was kinda not proportionate looking to the one that Wayne Gretzky lit uh, a few minutes later. Why didn't they just use that? That's what I don't know. Like, why they built this big, giant, extra torch for absolutely no reason. Anywho, right now, it's, uh, the big old ski jump is what's on right now, so, unfortunately, it's nothing cool, like, uh, curling, which is awesome to watch. Definitely the number one sport that I'm going to be watching for uh, this year's Olympics. Anywho, uh, what else to talk about? Anything else happened in the ceremonies yesterday that's worth mentioning. Uzbekistan did not get on TV at all because it came in between Canada and the United States and, well, you know, NBC is obsessed with uh, Sean the Flying Tomato, so of course they showed him like five minutes and nobody else cares. So I'm sure Uzbekistan Props to you guys. You guys, I hope that you guys handle this like champs and win a gold medal in every single event that you guys are in, whichever sports they play in Uzbekistan. Uh, anyway, other countries that I'm going to be looking forward to uh, this Olympics besides the United States, definitely Portugal, definitely Italy, Azerbaijan. Oh, Azerbaijan, you guys. Jamaica has one athlete, so I'll root for Jamaica. It's not Usain Bolt, but whatever. Um, basically, any of the stands countries and Spain I don't know if Mexico is in this Olympics, but if Mexico is in it, go Mexico. Um, and that's really not that's about it. I guess I'll go for Brazil just because I'm looking forward to the uh, 2016 Olympics in Rio de Janeiro. But for now, it's in Vancouver, and I'm kind of, it's kind of convenient because the, the Olympics are in our time zone. So at least everything's like in real time, and it's not like in the China Olympics when you have to wake up at like three in the morning to watch Michael Phelps winning all of his gold medals, so this is kind of nice. One more thing, uh, I don't care about Apollo Antonio, don't care what he does. It's all about curling this year. Go curling.